They built a village, pretty much. Oh, my God! <laughs> I'm sitting in part of the walls of Tarvalon. Every time you walk into it, it just gave you that movie-making magic kind of feeling. One thing I really didn't want to do is I didn't want our actors making this show against green screen. I didn't want them standing on a green mat talking to a green blob and we're like, you're in Tarvalon and this is an Ogier, but you're just looking at green. And so we've done everything we can to build this world in reality and do everything that we can in camera. We spent a lot of time choosing where the production was going to center out of, and we found this amazing facility in Prague that was almost 350,000 square feet of an old truck factory that we were able to build from the ground up into our entire operation. And we had multiple sound stages all under one roof, and that became the lifeblood of the show. We had such an incredible construction and design team on the ground there that we ended up being able to build things that were much more beautiful, cinematic, and, and creatively appropriate than we were able to find. We built a back lot to reshad our logos. We had this incredible local drawing in from Poland as well, these craftsmen. We built these city streets and, and the parking lot. So that became our back lot. I'm sitting in part of the walls of Tarvalon. We've had Shadow Logos created in sort of eerie, monstrous detail, and we've really traveled for this show. We've been to mountains and valleys and quarries and rivers, and it's felt enormous, to be honest, and, and it's felt right and fitting. So on Wheel of Time, what we're doing is we're building a complete world. So everything we do is considered. It's not just rolling up outside a modern building and filming. It's about thinking about the way that building is, where it comes from, and then you realize you have to build it. The building of the two rivers was the most amazing part of the whole process, and it looks you know, as good as you know, anything we could have hoped to find. In the books, there's a very clear description of thatched houses, but once we started to look at images of that, it was something that you've seen a lot before, and our production designer really dug in and found these amazing inspiration images from the mountains of Japan and the Alps, and sort of like combined all of this mountain architecture into something that could be uniquely the two rivers. I remember standing around little models of village houses with Rafe and putting them in position and giving each and single one of them purpose so it makes sense in terms of how is a village built. We would go, this is the butcher and this is the baker. And once you have that little model in front of you, your wonderful production designer takes over and it's being built. And on a regular basis, you visit that location and you see all these amazing craftsmen from the Czech Republic building this village. And day by day, it becomes more real and it becomes alive in front of your eyes. Up to the day where you fill it with 150 extras and costumes, they celebrate the Beltime Festival and you feel like you are in this time and this is all a reality. We built the entire village in a quarry outside of Prague, and every time you walk into it, it just gave you that movie-making magic kind of feeling. So when the actors walked onto that set for the first time and just looked around in this 360-degree village, and I think they really appreciated the magnitude of what we were trying to do here, and it kind of set the tone. The awful. Oh, yes! That's mad. I think walking into two rivers and I just sort of realized that they'd, they, they built a village, pretty much. And I think I was just like, oh, okay. And there's just chickens running around. The scale of it, I think, really, really hit me. Oh, look, there's the wine spring. Oh, my god. It's like exactly yeah. how I imagined this. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Just casually build a town in five months. Yeah, why not? I have been waiting since I was 15 to walk in this room. This is uh, Rand and Tam's house. And being able to see it actually be built, being able to walk in the house, 
I know how it looked in my head. And this is actually kind of close. Um, I actually came in and I said, where's the stairs? And I'm like, oh, over there. I could imagine Robert Jordan walking in and saying, finally, after all these years and trying to get it made, you're doing it. Welcome to the Two Rivers. I promise it doesn't always look like this. <laughs> Being in this village we built, you felt like, oh, this is home. And when we burned it down and left, it was like an emotional experience watching that happen on set too. And then as the characters ride out into the, the wider world, I think we all kind of went on that journey with them because we were leaving behind this set that we'd spent the first couple months of the show on.